On today's episode, the best five websites I've seen this month that are going to inspire you and give you ideas on how to design amazing websites. Let's rock and roll. Hey design friends, my name is Ron Sega. What's up and welcome back to Flux where we cover web design and design freelancing in general. Today I've got some really nice website to share with you. But if you're not subscribed yet, want to let you know we've got some amazing content coming up on design, freelancing, and building your career as a web designer. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel and let's dive into the first website. So the first website I want to share with you is this one. It's called Speedy. And this is basically kind of like a, a fintech solution, just like a bank, but better. What I really like about this website, of course, it's got like this nice interaction, scroll interaction. It's showing you basically you're dropping stuff. It creates invoices and stuff like this. But what I'm really excited is just to show you how very little color they're using here. Most of this website is really black and white and you'll be able to see just tiny touches of color, but that creates such a very solid and premium feel to this brand just by how they're using colors. So check this out. One more thing that I love that they're using is their logo is a very simple kind of like a swear and uh, half black, half white. And they'll be using all of these kind of like 3D metaphors that are basically kind of like a reverberation of this logo. And I really, really like this. As I said, see, almost everything is black and white and, le and yet it looks beautiful. The way they're doing the 3D rendering, the way they're doing these glass, you know, overlays, you almost don't need anything and they're just creating beautiful uh, mock-ups of this layout. Here they're uh, trying to show you that they're global. So again, they're using the same metaphor of this globe. This time they're putting in a little bit of color to show the different flags of each country. Again, very minor detail, but adds a lot of flair to this website. Um, as I said, I think it's a really, really good idea. What you can take away from here is how to use color very, very minimally. Um, and with just black and white, you can create a lot, a lot of premium feeling to your brand. I also like this, how they're masking out kind of like thin font and bold font, and that shows the selection. I think this is a really nice interaction. Um, basically, they wanna show that it's, you know, um, free for everybody around the globe. So they're taking like random names from around the globe, and they're basically showing that this is for you. Really nice website from Speedy. All right, the second website that I wanna show you is this one, it's called Viber. And the thing that's basically they're creating this industrial um, sensors, right? For uh, pressure, temperature, that kind of stuff. This is almost, I would say the most boring thing in the world, right? Who cares about these industrial pressure sensors or something like this. But what I like about this is that even if the topic is doesn't sound exciting, like industrial pressure sensors, doesn't mean that the brand has to be boring. Look at how they're using typography, very bold, very unique kind of font, shows that it's industrial, shows that it's very clean. They're doing beautiful rendering and composition of the object. And even if the object itself is not really exciting, that doesn't mean that you can't make a beautiful composition, you know, put a little bit of a shadow to make it look like, even though it's a 3D rendering, like it was shot in like a very nice pack shot, make these beautiful, interesting composition from something that is essentially boring. So I really like this. I really like how they can create something beautiful from something that is super technical and super boring. And I wanna encourage you to, doesn't matter what the topic of your website is, you can create something exciting about this um, and make it look beautiful. So I really like how they approached the topic here in Viber. Now the next thing I wanna show you, and be, just before I move on to the next website, what I wanna show you is this. Here they chose to start with kind of like a big boom, Viber, uh, and then they're also keeping the logo here, right? So when you're scrolling, 
Oh, you're not. So basically, you're just saying the name of the company twice, which is a little bit kind of like a waste of space and attention, in my opinion. But let me show you the next website. So the next website is called Lemkus, and this is basically an e commerce for fancy sneakers. But what I want to show you here is they've had the same approach, right? They've started off with boom, the name of the website in big, quite like they've had here. But here, they didn't put the logo, they just started with something random like the time in Cape Town. I don't know, maybe that's their headquarters. But as you start scrolling down, basically the logo, uh, the name of the company basically turns into a logo and then sticks with you. So I really like this because I think this is really efficient. They stated this as big, but then they turned it into a logo that they didn't then have to show you the, the name of the company and the logo twice. Now, what I really like about this e-commerce First of all, I like the interactions here, but I also like that the the interface is basically a draggable interface. In a lot of e-commerce, you'll just see the grids, grid, grids of you know uh, product, and it's kind of boring. And here they've broken it down a little bit with this dragging interaction, um, where you can start dragging these over. And they've also put kind of like this drag tag so that you know that you can drag. And I've seen a lot of websites where you're supposed to drag something, maybe it's testimonials or galleries like this, but they're not telling you you need to drag. And so you always need to remember to tell the user what to do. One more thing I like about this is they've got this very kind of like in your face, um, narrow point, but it's combined with this very, very cool, um, you know, serif font that's on the drag, if you can see, you know, where I'm putting the drag. And this combination of, you know, bold fonts, and then these serif fonts that you can see here, that creates a lot of the premium, that contrast between something very, very bold and narrow and in your face and something that looks a little bit more classical, that combination, always creates interesting um, combination that look look premium and look pretty, pretty good. So that's what I like about this website. It's e-commerce, uh, like a lot of things you would, uh, you would normally see, but they've broken it down in some kind of an interesting ways, and I love how they thought about the scrolling experience. The next website I wanna show you is from a photographer, a Ukrainian photographer called Dima Kutsunesko. Now, basically, this is what you see when you're coming to the website, Ukrainian fashion photographer based in Kiev, and then click anywhere to continue. Now, off the top of it, I don't kind of like welcome pages where you have to do things. I like to see up front and then be able to scroll. But in this case, basically, they've state where we are, and then he created this very cool kind of like intro, intro experience where you're getting very fast to see the kind of work that they're, he's doing. And then the experience that you're seeing, you can move and basically scroll through a bunch of photographs, but they are in negative and you have to actually hover on top of them to reveal it. And I really like this approach because there is something, you know, when the photo is negative, you can't really see what's going on there. And it's actually, in a sense, maybe ruining the photograph. So you, you're you playing, this is kind of like a playful experience where you can actually get to explore. And it creates curiosity because you're not really sure what's in there and you wanna hover on top of it. Of course, because he's also a photographer and he probably has this traditional photographer backup uh, background, this concept of negative, right, is how you develop Photo photography, so it's not just a random effect to create the curiosity, it's also an effect that comes from the background and the topic of you know the, the, the website itself. So I think it's really, really clever the way that it's happening. Also very nice kind of like transformation and then you, you actually get to see the project and you know, click and then you get to see the project themselves. And this time, as you can see, the, the page transition was pretty seamless. You know, I clicked on the project page and then started scrolling immediately to, um, to the project page itself. So I really like the approach here. One more thing that I like about this is you click the menu and then all of a sudden from something that was very kind of black and white, you get a tons of color. And I'm just gonna click about and then we're gonna see the about again. But note, every time I'm clicking the menu, the, the color is random. It's, uh, every time it's a different color. And again, these are completely out of the normal color scheme of the website, which is very, very kind of like pale. And these are very, very screamy colors. 
I like this because to me, it kind of like shows that there is something underneath here that uh, is always going to surprise you. So well done on this photographer portfolio website. I really, really love it. The last website that I wanna show you today is this website called Very. And this is basically kind of like a sticker thing that measures your glucose and then gives you information about the food that you eat. But check this out. This is very, very kind of like minimalistic. There's only a photography here, like one photo, one headline on top of it, and then a call to action or registration. Very, very minimalistic. The photo is obviously very well art directed, um, custom photography on the background. And this whole thing creates a very, very clear kind of like color palette that is mostly green and then has this kind of like yellowy as a call to action. Um, they're not immediately telling you, by the way, what the product is. And I think that's interesting because they're, they're getting to tell you a story, right? When eating right becomes easy, what does that mean? Get invaluable knowledge about your body. What does that mean? So you scroll down and then they're telling you how these insights are going to you know, help you out. See how your body responds, stabilize your blood sugar, all of these things. And still you're saying, but what is this? What is this? You're scrolling down and basically see how different foods are going to impact different people differently. And you're still, what is this? What is this? And then only here, listen to your body where they're actually telling you, oh, it's a sensor to track your glucose with an app that shows you the diet. So this has kind of been like a storytelling where they're not just starting with product. Here's what the product does. They're starting with the benefit and they're starting with the story of how this is going to help you and what it achieves from you. And only then they're telling you this is the actual product. I love this. And I think they're they're doing a really nice, nice uh, way of telling the story here. Now they're kind of sticking you in this dual split screen and basically moving from a section to section. Again, I think really wonderful work here with color and art direction and photography. Uh, by the way, this website has been, been built on Webflow and I think this is really, really a nice nice solid build. And you see that you don't have to go crazy with interactions and stuff like that to create a very, very nice and solid experience. Um, FAQs, and basically that's it, finishing with another photograph. One more thing I wanna say about the photography here is that when photography is done well, you don't have to create an overlay on top of it. You don't have to give your text drop shadows and stuff like that. If the photography was planned to have type on top of it, it just looks good, right? The, the, the background color is dark, his skin is dark, so obviously text would be readable on top of it. And so a lot of times the photography doesn't really work well with text on top of it, but here I think this is really, really well done. All right, so let me know which one of these websites you like the most. We're going to start doing live builds of websites, of some of the websites that we might showing uh, here on this segment to show you how to actually build them with Webflow or other tools. So let me know in the comments below and I will see you on the next video. Peace out. <laughs>